deeper and it became a large ocean where I had to go and explore. And it only could happen when I observe people and that looking into things came into play. Mm -hmm. Just not looking at people writing, but looking into what happens. So. Okay, can I, can I just ask you a question? Yes. Since you by now had done quite a bit of research around handwriting alphabets and how they need to be written, what is the best way of writing? And theoretically, you had it all in place. Yes. When you went out to tell people that, uh, did you go around telling people that I have got the hang of this, so I'm going to start a course? Or did people even understand the value of handwriting? Because I'm sure in the 80s, uh, postmen were still busy uh, and people were writing uh, handwritten letters. But was the value of handwriting far greater than uh, then in comparison to what it is now? Uh, were people aware good handwriting to oh, bad handwriting legible? Was everything legible called good handwriting and everything illegible but neat without a strike also falling under good handwriting? So what is it that you started speaking about for people to even understand that handwriting is serious business? Wonderful question. I uh, said the value of handwriting was still there in the 90s. People appreciated good handwriting. And from what I understood as good handwriting from them is readability first. Was it readable? Then came whether it is beautiful to look at. First was readability, then beautiful. Then the highest level was, is it adorable? And as you said, postmen were busy. People were still writing. and. Uh, Okay, the other area that I discovered about myself was uh, being a chatterbox. Where to use chatterboxes? I chose to teach. So I went into teach management subjects in these schools. And correcting answer scripts was the trigger for me. Mm. And many of my uh, friends who were also correcting answer scripts had the same to say, so difficult to correct them, can't understand what is written. So that was another trigger point which made me think about somebody should do something about it. The importance was there. Like when people were correcting answer scripts out of a pile of 60 or 100 answer scripts, if one of them was looking good or readable, you could see the immediate reaction of wow, Look at this candidate's answer script, so beautiful. How nice this handwriting is. And people around would say, give him or give her another five or 10 extra bucks because they made the job easier to correct the answer scripts. So the value was still there when compared to what it is today. And then I said, okay, I am going to put through a course in handwriting. But I was talking about handwriting and then uh, I said, okay, I can write certain certificates and all that, exploring all the areas, handwriting, lettering and polygraphy. At this point, I must uh, tell you that I was taking certain listing cards, empty cards and writing out my name and then writing that I'm a handwriting expert and all that. So it was in 91, I think, 90, I think 90, when I had gone to attend a lecture in BMA, Bangalore Management Association. The speaker of the evening was Mr. Hari Parameshwar, the creativity expert. And uh, before the program, there's a small session for tea and interacting with people, networking session as they call it today. Yeah. And it happened so that I met him and I didn't even know who he was and we got talking. And he said, what do you do? I said, I'm into handwriting and calligraphy. I would like to teach handwriting to people and do calligraphy work. Well, is it interesting? And then he went on to discuss further and said, have you ever addressed a group of people? On hand. I said, no, not yet, but I have a lot of information. Then he said, it's evident from the discussion. And uh, he moved away. After about five minutes, he came to me and he pulled out a visiting card and put it into my pocket and said, please call me, meet me sometime. Then we went and sat in our seats. Then I understand he was called upon the stage to give the evening talk. 
It was a brilliant talk on creativity. And then I immediately ran to him after the program and he says, I just live next door. It was in Taj residency and he was just, well, I mean, a, a few, uh, you know, uh, houses away from there. So we walked down and the journey started there. He organized for an interact club to invite me and do a half a day program. He was also there and that's how it was launched, teaching people how to write properly and telling them about handwriting, its nuances, the parts of a letter and how to go about. He was so impressed that the next week he took me to Bharat Electronics and said, here, you must be training all the apprentices, all the engineers how to write a letter. So that's how my handwriting programs got launched, thanks to Mr. Hari Parmeshwar. And earlier to that, the calligraphy part was launched also. Again, there's a lot of connection with Bharat Electronics. And I'm glad, you know, that handwriting was launched by an electronic company and digital world, right? <laughs> Ironic. 